Hello, this is the Beckstein Model 7 Upright Piano, 1913. It's just a, after most of the work done on it, especially repolishing. Um, want to make another video. The, the original video, I shall also have a link at the bottom of this video too. Uh, but this was definitely needing polishing. Obviously, if we can keep the old polish and it makes the piano less expensive, that's wonderful because the polishing takes about 65 hours on an upright. Um, but it's beautiful rosewood and worth doing. And because the model of, of the piano is, is so high quality, really, that um, it's one of Beckstein's best pianos, one of the ones we're really trying to source all the time, the Model 7. So just have a quick look at the case to see how it is now. And uh, you can see how it was before on the video that I shall link to. So right around the sides, beautiful rosewood. And obviously it's been repolished fully. We, and it may be the odd thing or two that we uh, had to disguise and completely eradicate. But I think in this case, I can't see any defects, but my polisher will say, well, this little bit and this little bit, maybe there, for instance, he couldn't uh, completely get rid of. The toes are often needing doing. Well, they, I think they may have been re-veneered or uh, at least they look excellent now anyway. So uh, it's a very pleasing looking piano. It's worth spending extra money on these top quality pianos because you can redeem that if you ever want to resell it. Uh, plenty of work we've done which is shown on the worksheet but just want to zero in on some of them buffing the key as we mentioned uh, you might have noticed if you look at the previous video how um, many, how marked this uh, you can see the slight fade line there but it was a lot more pronounced as the music stand the music stand comes folds inside by the way um, so then it folds out like this and is a useful height because the same as a grand piano modern pianos tend to be a bit on the low side i want to show you a particular thing we have reduced the height of the piano i mentioned in this video the pedals were extremely high i think they're 10.5 from the floor um and uh taking them down to six that leaves at 7.5 which is just about acceptable some new pianos are 7.5 i prefer a lower still so this would take it down to 6.5 having measured it, and that would be ideal. So I put a bit more felt in there, I think. Obviously, you're going to anchor something in permanently. I just want to show you what we will be doing. Um, and the pedals will still function perfectly. This is the last piano polished, a Blutonus 4 grand piano, and been fully repolished. There's a video before this one was done as well. Um, but they particularly fond of Blutonus grands. As you know, I've made videos of this before, but just before it goes to, to my house, actually, because uh, the client doesn't want it for a while, and we don't want to store the piano on its side when it's been French polished. So the Blutner that's in my house at the moment will come into the shop. That's the plan, unless you want to buy it. See it on the stock list. That would be really wonderful, say, it's having to move it again. Um, but um, I think on Friday, so it's not to decide to do that. And this is the top of the piano. So they do repolish really beautifully. This is natural finish. Uh, we didn't add any dye to it. Same with the Beckstein, that was natural finish. Now we have done extensive work to the inside of the piano, but we haven't had to replace the strings. The tuning pins are tight. I mentioned in the first video, hammers haven't needed replacing. They've been refaced. Plenty of felt. We mentioned in the first one that the piano hasn't been very much used, actually. We need to replace the return tapes. We replaced one here because we needed to, I think possibly the hammer was a bit loose. So we had to replace that tape. And we decided we're going to have to replace them all, I think. Apart from the fact that one sticks out like a sore thumb, when you take them off and put them back on, they tend to break. So, um, if you're not got access in your in a part of the world where you can't get new tapes, you can try and glue them on a, a bit. I mention that because I know folks watch and they haven't got access to parts, so it's difficult. We've replaced the felts on, on the keybed, as you can see. So, just extensive work generally, regulation, getting the key dip right. Well, those are shown on the worksheet, so we won't look at that anymore. We'll listen to the piano. Uh, I'll just play some notes while it's still open uh, so you can hear the tone of it. It's one of the fullest sounds of Beckstein's. What I mean, it's, it's just sings, it's got a big soundboard and uh, the, the tone around here, long strings. See the extra dampers here, these are called fly dampers uh, because the strings vibrate a bit too much, the sound is cutting off. Otherwise actually when you play these, you can hear an echo as these are vibrating in sympathy. If I take them off, for instance, let's just listen, I'll take them all, all the dampers off now. Obviously you've got echo from all the dampers there, so you get some of the echo coming if those fly dampers are not there. So there's the assessment sheet we made, and most of this work has been done. You'll see it itemised here. Um, the trade 
purchasing the furniture trade and uh, interesting to see the Hopkinson's success as sellers there. So we have lubricating the hammers, I didn't mention this time, but we've done all these bits of work, hammers, reface and re voice, get them tone as even and as strong because they needed refacing, but they weren't terribly warm. And uh, some sluggish keys, that's some, the box means it's done work still to do, but that'll obviously be done. And uh, well, we've done all the other work, we've found other things to do that aren't on here too. And well, the last thing will be touch, if we haven't done it already, uh, even uh, evening off the touch, which uh, I think we more or less have. So there's three sluggish notes there. So I hope that's helpful. I'm going to play the piano now. I'm going to contrast it with some others, just to give you some idea of the tone of the Beckstein compared with other pianos. This is a new Kawai, Kawai K500 in a similar price bracket. And a new 4133, similar height piano, slightly less expensive than the Vexline, but obviously the repolishing has a lot to do with the cost of that. Something I didn't mention is that the touch of the, the Beckstein is so well controlled and uh, a delight to play really. Uh, Beckstein touch on both uprights and grounds if it's well regulated, there isn't anything better in my opinion. Thank you. 